Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show, your best friend in science, astronomy, and telescopes. Well, at least I hope one of them. I know you guys watch a few other guys. I'm gonna mention one of them on my channel because he did something for me. So he made me one of these. What is it? Well, let's get to the video. Okay, so my friend, John, who used to be called the Reflector Channel, however, he changed his name and it's now called Astro Garage with Reflector. Okay, so John made me, I asked him because I know by talking to him, and by the way, I think I talked to John uh, the most out of the four YouTubers that I uh, watch the most that are about astronomy so and me and him also talk uh you know not regular but you know here and there uh, pretty often i would say so i know he has a 3d printer and he actually made me two of these now when it comes to 3d printing or kind of like apps and the latest technology maybe to some of you guys that you know it's very easy but for me i have no idea so on the internet uh, there is kind of like a link uh, to one of these. Uh, this is for your star sense. So the traditional star sense, uh, the app, you know, obviously looks like this. I got this one with uh, magnets and rubber at the feet because before I had three 12 inch uh, Dobsonians. Uh, my latest one is the Skywatcher Flex 2. Before that was the Mead Light Bridge, the Antares 12 inch. Now, the first two always had like balancing issues and that type of thing. So the Flex Tube, I think, uh, doesn't. But uh, anyway, so all three of them, what I did is actually uh, I drilled three holes. Even the Skywatcher Heritage that I take on an airplane for traveling, I drilled three holes and with three nut and bolts and that's how I mounted them on so this obviously will screw on and it won't because it's rubber but it's very strong magnets they have a couple different versions of how str strong you want your magnet but uh, basically now this will go on your telescope it sticks it's not going to fall it's better than uh, zip tying it or Velcro. This is really good. So again, I'll put the link up. Uh, you can get them from Amazon. It comes in a set of four. You're only going to need three. Now, what I have noticed, let's finish talking about these feet, um, that it only works on my Skywatcher Heritage and my 12-inch dog uh, because they're made out of steel. And... When I tried it on any of my other refractors type of thing, it doesn't fit because I believe they're made out of aluminum. That's what I think. It does not stick at all. Then it led me to look at how can I adapt this guy. And you know, on a Dobson, I don't mind putting a couple little holes and then I put some electrical tape to cover the holes after, but I'm not gonna do that on a very expensive refractors. So I know this has been out for a while, And um, there's even a link how to do it. So anybody with a 3D printer, if you just give them that link, they'll be able to make it. So I asked John if he could give me two, just in case, because John's in the US uh, near Texas area. So it's a little bit far. I'm in Canada, as you guys know, the Toronto area. So I figure if he's gonna make and send one to me, might as well get two j just so I have a backup type of thing. So how this works, just to show you, I put it on a refractor if you look in between see those two screws over here and the other side and i think you could just see one right in between the two uh there you go that little hole there so you match them up with these three holes and it would you know once you screw it on it's going to look like this and then after you put that top part so it's going to look like that. 
And then this can go on any refractor or even like a reflecting telescope, an EQ mounted one, you know, whatever. Anything that has a Vixen shoe. So, for instance, I didn't want to bring all my telescopes here, but if you have any type of refractor, let's say, that has just the Vixen shoe, this fits perfect. There you go. And then you just this lock the thumb screw down. I tried it on my Skywatcher ED. It fits there too. This is the Ascar, as you guys know. It. Let me just twist this down so you guys can see. There you go. So the Ascar has two parts. You could have a regular finder, traditional right angle finder, straight through finder. Then you could have this. You could have a red dot finder, you know, whatever type of finder. So you could have two different things. But anyway, it fits perfect. Um, so anything that has a Vixen dovetail or finder bracket will fit this. Now, if you have a telescope that has one of these rails on top, a lot of those guiders, uh, you know, it also fits perfect. Use one of these screws and then there you go. This will be then on top like that. Okay, so just wanted to show you guys that. So I appreciate it. I don't know if John, if you guys do watch John's uh, channel, a little bit about John. Obviously, he does reviews like I do, uh, some comparisons, you know, and that type of thing. Uh, and you guys know that I do a, a, some tweaking, some building, you know, nothing super advanced. But I, I've built, uh, I rebuilt like a Dobson base. I made them shorter. Uh, you know, I've done different things, balancing stuff. Uh, but John, I think, takes it to another level. And he does, like I would say, semi-pro type of tinkering. So... I don't do to that level tinkering, but John does a lot of that. So if you guys want to check out John, check out his channel. And I just wanted to give him a thumbs up for making me these. Otherwise, because I'm not on the forums, I probably wouldn't know. And I don't know anybody with a um, 3D printer. I have to probably pay a company to do it. And it's just more headaches. So appreciate you, John, making these for me. Now, if you guys know John and you're on his channel, I guess you could ask. I don't know if he's going to make it for everybody that asks, but uh, and how much he would charge for one of these um, type of thing. I don't know. But you can talk to him and see if you guys come to an agreement and at least pay the shipping. And maybe he might charge you 15 bucks or 20 bucks for one of these plus the shipping. I don't know. Again, talk to him. So that's it. Just wanted to show you guys this. So I got two of these made. So it's going to go for my Star Sense. I already have it set for... You know, my two Dobsons, my Heritage 150, which is my travel on the airplane one. And, you know, my 12 inch uh, where I go to my Bordeaux 2 zone or the gray zone. And now I can put this on my refractors if I need like, to. Comment and subscribe. Uh, if you know anybody getting into hobby and they like to see or if you think they asking questions on the forums and I have videos that maybe they're asking about, share my channel, share my links. And I do have members videos where once a month, I do make a video only for the members. It does not go on the public part. It's only 99 cents. I'm trying to put it as low as possible, but also it helps the channel grow because I buy a lot of stuff. My videos are usually comparisons and reviews. So a lot of the times I have to buy or find this stuff to show you guys. And I'm sure you guys appreciate it. If you guys would like to join, that helps the channel grow as well. Anyway, guys, why not you? Why not me?